I got into cycling in my early 20s. I went back to school for being an elementary school teacher and one of the uh, one of my co-students had on really cool socks and I asked her about it and she said she won them at a triathlon. And that kind of blew my mind because I didn't even really know what a triathlon was at that time. I grew up in a really small town. Um, I knew about mountain biking. I knew about road cycling. Um, so I started doing that and just fell in love with riding bikes at that time. Uh, and then that just kind of pursued into a, into a lifelong love, I suppose. I'm 40 now and uh, I would choose to ride bikes over pretty much anything else any day of the week. I rode a bike as a kid everywhere when I lived on, on an island, so that was the way that we got around. Um, I picked it up again as an adult. I started um, commuting when I lived in London uh, because taking mass transit was impossible. It would take me an hour and 30, 40 minutes sometimes, five trains to get to work. So I started running to work and riding a bike. Um, and then when I moved to Colorado, it took a while to find the right routine. And when I started working in Denver, you know, I didn't know how to get there. And so one day I just decided, screw it, I'm just gonna figure it out. And so I got on my bike and I rode to work and it took me probably an hour and a half, which should have taken me about an hour, but I've been doing it ever since. I really became interested in commuting when I worked for an organization called Bicycle Colorado. Um, most of my friends rode specifically for sport and just for exercise. And one of my coworkers, she had mentioned casually like, oh, we can't do that on Wednesday because it's no drive Wednesday. And I thought, what? I said, well, what's no drive Wednesday? And she said, oh, that's the day that my husband and I both pledge not to drive the car, no matter what, just one day a week. And she, that really stuck with me as far as trying to do that one day a week. And then it became two days a week and so on and so forth. And then we sold our car, <laughs> one of them at least. There are so many things I enjoy about commuting. One is that I get to leave my car at home in the garage, and that brings me an immense amount of satisfaction for a variety of reasons, one of which is less money on gas, less money on car maintenance, less wear and tear. I just love it when my car spends a day or two in the garage unused. But more than that, it's the physical aspect of it where I'm actually using my legs to go do something productive, whether it's riding to work, riding to the grocery store, riding to the ATM, riding to get my hair cut, buying flowers for a friend. There's very little that you can't do by bike. All of which are things that make me feel very satisfied that I'm doing it by bicycle. I love to ride to and from work. Uh, my favorite part is probably, I would say I get to clear my head two times a day, no matter what. Um, no matter what's happened at work, at the end of the day, I can leave it all out there. Um, on my way to work, I can think about what I need to get done for the day or think about you know, my kids or, or any issue, any grand idea I usually find while I'm on the bike. Probably the thing I like best about riding to work is just being out there. I go early in the morning. I get to enjoy the most magnificent sunrises. You know, and, and in Colorado, it's almost every single day. I really love just being in the outdoors, it's kind of quiet, and I feel like I get to enjoy it by myself. I see things I would never catch when I'm on the bike. Animals, sunsets, sunrises, things that I never saw when I was in the car. Things I never heard. You think, oh, I, would have, I would have missed that if I was in the car. The hardest thing is doing it the first time, and you just, have the confidence, like, it's not gonna go perfectly. Look at it as an adventure, just, just give it a try. And you'll find out that it's really rewarding. I mean, you feel great when you get there. You're so less stressed than if you're behind a wheel. Before you know it, you've got half a dozen or a dozen different ways that you can get to point A to point B. And just let your mood of the day determine which way you wanna go. Just have the gumption to give it a try and. When you do, you'll just never look back. I truly believe one of my life's purposes is getting more people on bikes. It is my opinion the world is a better place when people are on bikes. In an age where we are so inclined to live our lives behind a screen and in these isolated little bubbles of home and work and car, I think the bike is the way to get back to this really holistic lifestyle of conscious choices and less time in traffic and just immersing yourself in your environment. And I, I just, I think it's the best thing in the world. 